Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and the Hot Toys 1 4th scale Heath Ledger Joker from the Dark Knight film has finally been released in Hong Kong today. After many delays and lots of mystery surrounding the reason for the delays, uh, some of us suspected that they might be making some improvements to the figure we've seen at recent events when it's been on display, the prototype that is. And looks like they haven't improved much to me. The hair is just as underwhelming as it was originally although in some of these pictures like this one here doing the pencil trick that picture looks really really cool it does look nice very nice although there the hair looks like seaweed or some kind of stuff that gathers at the bottom of the ocean that looks gross um the likeness to Heath is pretty good but not as good as stuff that I've seen in the custom world. Like there's an artist called Mishi. I think that's how you say his name. He's on Facebook. He recently did a one fourth scale custom Heath Ledger Joker head with real hair. And I like this. That is so good. You want to freaking cry when you look at it. It's, it's just, it's heartbreakingly awesome, quite frankly. Whereas this, in all of these pictures, it's very good. But I don't know. I've, you know, I've seen a lot of Hot Toys Heath Ledger Jokers now. I've owned all of them apart from the 2.0 Bank Robber at one point. Uh, well, I've, I owned the original and I sold that and I owned the DX01 and I sold that. The only one I've kept is the DX11 Heath Ledger Joker in 1.6 scale by Hot Toys. And that's still a fantastic piece. And that picture should have been left, left on the editing floor, I feel. <laughs> I guess I guess it shows you you can lift his leg up pretty high. The clothing. Did Kato help with this? I I guess they just took his recipe from the DX11 when he helped out with that. Look at the hair. What is that at the front in the middle? It's like, it just looks like a blob of goo with seaweed falling around it. <laughs> just telling you how I feel. It's the truth. Um, yeah, that's a cool picture though. That looks really good. It's because you can't see the top of his hair. Again, the face. Let me just block out the top of his head. Yeah, the likeness to Heave is really, really good. Really good. The eyes, the makeup, the lips, the scarring. That picture in particular, I really like the lighting and the pose. Really good job on that pic, whoever took that. Very nice. Very nice. Um, his head is looking down in a lot of these pictures because his eyes are pointing up, which would suggest that you should tilt his head down when posing. However, his hair does not represent that at all. His hair is very much going back and his, you know, eyes are going up. So head goes down, eyes go up, hair falls forward, but not in this case. But that's getting a little bit too, you know, picky, I guess. If it was rooted hair, though, uh, you would be able to make it look like... You know, the real thing i mean because gravity would have strands of hair falling forward if he was leaning his head down and that's just not the case uh with these pictures but that's a beautiful shot right there whoever took that you can go into the fridge get yourself a couple of jaffa cakes and a cup of tea two sugars treat yourself because uh, that was very nice however this picture does not do anything for me whatsoever what's he doing hey i'm here oh god this picture this is the one man that hair the picture and even the likeness to Heath's a little bit suspect it's there but it's something else going on there it's uh, I don't know I'm gonna get it it's coming I paid for this a long time ago shout out to James Owen I've done four takes now so I can't remember if I've already said that so uh, another shout out to James Owen for hooking this up thank you sir and um, yeah I paid for this a long time ago it's coming it's gonna be shipped uh, right after this Easter weekend's done so this is going to get shipped to me on Tuesday, I think, and I should have it, hopefully, depending on how customs are with it. Uh, I should have it very soon after Tuesday, fingers crossed. So uh, I'll bring you all the goodies, the unboxing, a uh, nice big unboxing. Let's go get a look at the box itself and all the goodies inside the box, as you will see it when you open it. If you decide to get this thing, I mean, that's the whole point of what I'm going to be doing on this channel with this piece, letting you know the truth, whether this is really worth you know putting down that cash for i mean i think that the answer the answer is going to be yes but i definitely going to have things to say about this it's not all going to be oh this is awesome that's awesome this is awesome that's awesome it's going to be there's going to be some niggles there's going to be some mini rants and um you know with this particular one i love the muscle tone in the arms coming through the shirt there it looks very realistic the shoulder coming down yeah just really really good yeah i just think the lighting and the background choice in this picture not helping the hair at all it does look like seaweed or whatever that stuff is i'm thinking of like long stringy dark green stuff in the ocean Ugh. um yeah 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 i don't know i don't know 
I know that this is going to look sick in the right poses, you know. Yeah, it is. The shoes look great. The socks and the pictures where you can see them look really cool. And uh, his trousers, pants, whatever you call them, they look nice. The material for the coat reminds me of the DX11 material. I guess just bigger. Um, might be different, but it does look the same in these pictures. His uh, under jacket there, very nicely done. They're very clean, cleanly uh, stitched together and expert work. The vest, very nice. Got the movie accurate missing button. There's the grenade rig, which I haven't been able to mess around with since I got rid of my DX01. So that should be fun to maybe display him like that for a little while. Uh, I wonder what kind of pose I'd settle on with this guy. Because don't forget, you can swap the heads. You get two heads and take the jacket and the coat off and have him in the look from the uh, when he's being held in the you know the cell. So yeah. I might need to track down a one fourth scale chair because in fact I better do that quick I want to get that before I do the review and uh, that might not work timing wise because even if I order it right now anyway you don't need to know that but basically I need to get myself a one fourth scale chair for this guy because just think of the poses you could do it opens up a whole other world of uh, opportunities for cool poses and photography with him that's a really cool pic there where he's uh, tussling with Batman keeping him down but the hair again uh, wouldn't be doing that you know if he was looking down there's the uh the bank robber joker mask that you also get with the one fourth scale dark knight rises batman but this one looks more weathered and grimy slightly so i guess that's the uh the difference there look at that wrist pick ew that's gross and his hair again looks very reminiscent of some kind of kelp is that what i'm thinking about he's uh doing an ant-man here he's gone to big he fledger mode because look at the size of the door and look at him that's a one six scale diorama from the dx11 joker and he's not supposed to use that with big joker uh my laptop is about to die hopefully it doesn't do that before i finish this take because i'm not doing another one no matter what i say in this one uh it's still going up on the internet that picture is fantastic. Look at the glow of the fire on his face. Scrumptious. Probably the best picture out of the bunch. Whoever took that, ooh, you did a good job. That picture is probably from the same dude. That's a cool picture as well. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, yep, that's a cool one too. I don't think there's any names on these ones. Some of these pictures have names uh, of the artists and stuff. Or the photographer. Oh, wait, there we go. I missed it. It went too, too quick. Balancing a pencil on his digit. Uh, well that's nifty that's a cool pose i wonder how he did that is that photoshop trickery or did he just stick it there for a minute with some blue tack or something the uh, obligatory card up against the face pose you had to do it didn't you yeah no i probably will too to be fair but yeah looks good it does look good and i have a feeling it's going to be a, a recommended figure for me uh, but like I said, there's definitely going to be things about this that I'm not going to be 100% satisfied with. But you never know. When I get this, I might forgive the hair. Maybe in person it will change my mind. Because I love my DX11 and he has hair that goes straight back as well. There's no strands falling around his face on that one. And I still love that. So, you know, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, moaning about nothing. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, it's all fun. It's all entertainment for you guys. I'll just tell you the goddamn truth when I get it. You know, I don't get anything for uh, free or any discounts or any samples at the moment. So uh, I'm paying the big money to get them early to review for you guys and let you know what's up. Uh, providing a free service, sir. Uh, wow, that is a nice picture, though. Look at the way the lighting's coming over him like that. That is very nice. Yep. So, uh, like I said, wow. The colors on that picture look really nice. The material on the coat, everything. Yeah, man, I can't wait to get it. I'm getting more pumped. <laughs> you should have heard take one of this video i was just tearing this thing to pieces and gradually as i've got to like the fourth take now i'm like oh it actually looks pretty really good it does look good um yeah man it's just the hair i just would have loved you can't have everything you want obviously but i would have loved rooted hair on this big one you know at least on one of the heads they give you two heads so why not do at least one of the heads with rooted hair that would have been sweet anyway like i said unboxing coming soon in a few days subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notifications. You don't want to miss out on these videos. Batman's looking at something in the corner there. He's like, is that a spider? He doesn't like spiders. I don't like spiders. Nobody likes spiders. If you do, you're weird. Um, there's a beautiful picture there. Look at the socks, the vibrancy. And the fingers tapping together. Very cool pose. All right, that's it. It's all coming soon to this channel. A few days. Keep it locked. You don't want to miss it. Uh, take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.